If you're wanting to learn some graphic design basics, sell digital products online, or you're looking to create your own wedding invitation, this video is perfect for you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Sandra and I'm a freelance graphic designer. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Every week I provide either graphic design tutorials, talk about digital products to sell online, or giving you some small business tips. If you're not new here, hello, welcome back. So I actually started my graphic design side hustle in the wedding industry. I've designed tons of wedding invitations, place cards, seating charts, menus, and basically all stationery that's required for a wedding. Today, we're going to be designing this beautiful wedding invitation using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. The best thing is I'm going through a lot of basics on Illustrator that can be used to create so many other digital products. And because you're here watching, I have a gift for you. I've compiled 20 digital product ideas that you can grab for free. So make sure you check that out in the description box down below by the end of this video. Now, without further ado, let's go to my computer and get started on the tutorial. Okay, so like I said, this is the invitation that we're going to be creating. So I'm going to start a new file, go up to the menu bar, click on file, new, and this window is going to pop up. I'm going to work on a five by seven inch artboard because that's the standard size of a wedding invitation. Click create. So now this is the artboard that we're going to be working on. I like to start with the wording of the invitation. You can find standard wording online. It just depends on how you want your invitation to sound or how your client wants it to sound. So go to the toolbar over here and click on type tool. Click somewhere here on the artboard and drag it. And it's going to create this box where you're going to write all the wording. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm just going to start typing in some standard wording and just making up these names. And if you want to change the font, just highlight it up here. I'm going to change it to this one. Okay, so now I want to center all the words. So go back to the toolbar here and click on the black selection tool and go up here and just align it to the center. So you'll notice that I left a few spaces here and that's because I'm going to type the bride and groom's names here and the ceremony and reception here. So go back to your toolbar, click on type tool, and click. Just going to write some made up names and then I'm going to change the font to a script font, say this one. I'm gonna change the font size up here. And then I'm gonna copy, so just control C and then paste, control V. Just type in the groom's name. I'm gonna do the same thing, copy and paste. Ceremony, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna go back up here, change it to a font size of 26. We could make that a little bit bigger. Okay, copy that, paste it here and put adult only. So now if you want to align all the words, just select it all, go up to window, align, and this align toolbar will pop up and click on the horizontal align. Okay, so now I want to change the script font into a gold color. So if you just select all of these and then go over here, this is your fill color, double click. And this is where you can change your hex code or your color code. So I found one that I like and it's A47D30. Click OK and it just changes into that gold color. Okay, so now this is where I'm going to add in 
the floral graphics. And I'm actually going to be using a package that I purchased from Creative Market. It's absolutely beautiful. It's called the Allegory of Grace. This is probably one of my favorite packages. I'm going to link it in the description box down below for you guys if you want to purchase it as well. But I'm going to go to the watercolor wreaths and I want to use number two. But I do want to adjust it because I don't want it to look as round. I want it to look more um, suited for corner florals. So I'm going to open Photoshop. Go to File, Open, and I'm going to select number two. So it's going to open with a transparent background. And here's the toolbar for Photoshop. Click on the Crop tool. I'm just going to bring it in just so that I don't have all that unnecessary negative space. And then type Enter. It's going to zoom in. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to erase some of this because I just I don't need it and I don't want it to pop out. And you'll you'll see what I mean when I start to add it to the invitation. Go to the toolbar and click on the eraser tool. And you can change the size of the eraser up here. So you could just make it smaller, make it bigger. This will do for now. And I'm just going to start erasing. Okay, so this is basically what I need. I'm just going to go back to the crop tool and just get rid of all this negative space. Press enter. Go to file, save as. I'm going to save it as a PSD file. And I'm just going to label it number four. Save. And press OK. I'm just going to pause this tutorial for a quick second to remind you, if you haven't yet, of course, to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead, the button is conveniently right over here for you. Don't be shy, I'll give you a second. Okay, let's continue. So now we're going to go back into Illustrator and we're going to drag and drop the floral piece that we just edited. But before we do that, I highly recommend that you work in layers. So over here is where I have my layers, but you find it up here in the menu bar, go to window and click on layers. So right now I have all the wording on layer one. The reason I like to work in layers is because then you can control what stays in the forefront and what stays in the back. And what I like to do is keep all the words at the front and make sure that the graphics stay in the back. So click on this and go to new layer. And we'll just leave it at layer two. This is where I'm going to put the graphics, but drag it below layer one. Whatever's at the bottom here is what's going to end up in the back. So we're just going to drag and drop number four, which is what we named it. And here's my floral piece. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and click on embed up here. Okay. So now is where you get a little bit creative on how you want to place the flowers in the corner. Okay, so that's good for now. Now I'm going to show you a trick to ensure that you'll mirror it exactly on the opposite corner if that's the look you're going for. Go to your toolbar and click on the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to create a five by seven rectangle, the size of the invitation. It's going to default into a black fill color. Just go over here and change it to the transparent or invisible. And I'm just going to line it up with the artboard. Now with that selected, hold shift and click on your floral piece, right click, make clipping mask. So now you're going to see exactly what it looks like when you print it out. Now select this whole piece and copy, so control C, paste. Now you have another piece Now you're just gonna rotate it. And Bring it over here. 
there you go. You have your beautiful wedding invitation. So now all you have to do is go to file, save as, and you can save it as a PDF, or you can go to export, export as, and you can export it into a JPEG file. So what did you think? Not too difficult to follow along, right? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I respond to all of them. Also, let me know if there are any specific digital products that you want me to film a tutorial on. Don't forget to head over to the description box down below where you can check out the gift I've prepared for you and it lays out 20 digital products that you can sell online. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday, guys. Bye.